Chapter 8, Lesson 5, Inequalities. An inequality is a mathematical sentence that compares quantities using symbols such as the less than symbol, the greater than symbol, the less than or equal to symbol, which is a less than symbol and half of an equal sign, and then the greater than or equal to symbol, which is the greater than symbol with half of an equal sign. Some key words to help you know when to use these symbols are is fewer than, is more than, is at most, and is at least. Examples. Is the given value a solution of the inequality? Number one, x plus three is greater than nine and x is equal to four. So let's take 4 and plug it in for x and see if we get a true inequality. So that would give us 4 plus 3 is greater than 9. And if I simplify the left side of the inequality, we get 7 is greater than 9. And because 7 is not greater than 9, this is not a solution to the inequality because this is not a true statement. Example 2. 12 is less than or equal to 18 minus y when y equals 6. So let's take 6 and plug it into our inequality. Then we'll have 12 is less than or equal to 18 minus 6. And if we simplify the right side of the inequality, we get 12. So that gives us a statement of 12 is less than or equal to 12. And this is a true statement because 12 is equal to 12. So this is a solution. Example 3. 17 is greater than or equal to 11 plus x when x equals 8. So again, let's plug in 8 and we get 17 is greater than or equal to 11 plus 8. Simplify the right side of the equation and we get 19. So now we have 17 is greater than or equal to 19. And 17 is not greater than or equal to 19. So x equals 8 is not a solution to the inequality. Example 4. Out of the numbers 6, 7, or 8, which is a solution of the inequality f plus 2 is less than 9? So let's try plugging in each number starting with 6. So if I plug in 6 for f, we get 6 plus 2 is less than 9. If we simplify the left side of the inequality, we get 8 is less than 9. So because this is a true statement, 6 is a solution. Let's try plugging in 7 now. If we plug in 7, we'll get 7 plus 2 is less than 9. Simplify the left side and we get... 9 is less than 9. So this is not a true statement because 9 is not less than 9. It's equal to. Lastly, let's try plugging in 8. If we plug in 8, we get 8 plus 2 is less than 9. 8 plus 2 gives us 10. 10 is less than 9 is not a true statement. So that means the number 6 is our only solution for this inequality. Example 5. Louisa works at a gift shop. She receives a bonus if she makes more than 20 flower bouquets in a month. Which months did Louisa receive a bonus? So we can set up an inequality for this where x is the number of bouquets that she sells in a month and they need to be greater than 20 bouquets to receive her bonus. So now let's look at the chart to see how many she sold each month. In July, Louisa sold 25 bouquets. 25 is greater than 20, so that means she received a bonus in July. In August, she sold 12 bouquets. 12 greater than 20 is not a true statement, so she did not receive a bonus in August. September, she sold 18 bouquets. 18 is not greater than 20, so she did not receive a bonus in September. And in October, she sold 32 bouquets, which is greater than 20, so she also received a bonus in October. Pause the video here and try these yourself to check for understanding.